Fluorescent lamps have been with us since 1938. They were put on the market in 1938, April 21st, 1938. And in fact, this lamp I have in my hand is one of the first sizes ever made, 20 watt. In 1938, there was only a 15 watt, 18 inch, a 20 watt, 24 inch, which is this lamp, and a 30 watt, 36 inch. The four foot, 48 inch lamp, which is the most common fluorescent lamp ever made ever in history is actually appeared on the market in 1939, early 1939. And other sizes were added over the years. By the end of World War II, 1946, there was about probably 25 different sizes of lamps. And the Circline fluorescent was introduced on the market in 1945 in the 12 inch, 32 watt size. This is a six inch 20 watt, which is the smallest size ever made in, in a standard circ line. And uh, this, this size was introduced in 1977 actually. And then in 1949 to 1950, they introduced the, the eight inch 22 watt and the 12 inch, or, or rather the 16 inch 40 watt lamp along with the 12 inch 32 watt lamp. So that gave three sizes. And then the fourth size again came out in 1977. So fluorescent lamps have been with us quite a while. In fact, they were used in the movie The Wizard of Oz, which is interesting. And quite a number of other movies that were done just at the onset of World War II. Another notable movie that, that had fluorescence of this type in use, some of the first ones, was the movie Holiday Inn with Bing Crosby. In the dressing room, in the beginning of the movie, you will see 20 watt fluorescent tubes from circa 1939 in actual use in the movie, which is quite a trip back in history, you know, as far as lighting goes. But pretty much fluorescent lamps haven't changed much since, since they were introduced in the late 30s. And uh, they're really, truly an excellent light source, and it doesn't matter whether you have a really ancient fluorescent fixture in use that may even go back to before World War II or the latest most modern fluorescent fixture on the market. The only difference is they just change the way they operate the lamps, that's all. But the lamps themselves remain fluorescent lamps and there's not much change. I'll, I'll talk about operating devices later on these lamps.